Hey guys, and welcome to a little tutorial video. And uh, as you can see, I got the Miscons mod installed. Uh, we're gonna just do a 4x4 door. We're gonna need the layers, sticky pistons, vertical Miscons, Miscons, Miscons torch, and a player detector. And this is actually really simple. We'll just use this as a basic little node. As you can see, I'm using the community mod pack, and I'm in uh, I'm in 10 plus ones ethereal <laughs> terrain generation. It's it's kind of crazy actually, but uh, yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place down sticky piston, place down another one, place down one face in that, and place the node you want to push. What we're gonna do here is just create a little tower. And now we're going to say that this is the wall we're trying to build into, and this is the opening. And this is a nice little compacted contraption. And what's going to happen is this is going to push one this way and one out, and it's going to basically seal the door. And we're going to have three more of these as we go on. So what you're going to want to do here is one tick right there, one tick right there, and two right there. And simply what's going to happen here is when you get your power source, this is going to push on, and it's instantly going to push this. And then when you let go, or when the power source turns off, this is going to turn or turn off instantly, but this is going to hold it for a split second. And then we're going to get a third power source going on here. Let's see how I can build this. And we'll just do a two tick delay. Put a Miscons right there. And then we'll have a Miscons, a vertical Miscons right there. We'll just have a connect like this. And now what you're going to see is that this pushed this open because of this one tick and then it pushed this open because of this two tick. And when I let go of this, as you can see nice and smoothly, it pulled in, then it uh, pulled the whole contraption in. Now I would highly recommend you do two of these because as you can see, if we do another tick on this, this won't work properly. And that has to do with uh, just the node ABMs or the node timers, whatever this uses. Because what's happening is, is it's calculating this and it's calculating this. But even though it uh, it was set for a four tick delay, it still needs to have another tick added to it, or another uh, world step, I guess you could say, added to it, just so that it's 100% accurate all the time. And that works flawlessly. And my washing machine's going crazy. <laughs> and now if we just add in another row to seal one side of the doorway, what we can do is we can piggyback on this. And it's really easy, because we are actually trying to uh, do the same thing here. And we're going to just do a, let's see, huh, I think I actually built this a little wrong. So, with this, we're going to have this node timer right here so it equally activates for both of them. And so that goes there. And this vertical miscons goes right here. And all we're trying to do is get an equal signal to both of these outer pistons just so it all activates correctly. And I'm sure there's another way to build this. It's a lot more compacted, but just for the sake of simplicity so you can all see that it's laid out correctly and or how it's laid out so you do it correctly and there you go it's all good and now we just place a torch it all activates it all pushes out and it just pulls it all back in and it's real easy and we're just gonna go build it on the other side so let's just start this up real quick you gotta remember this is gonna push it one out 
So you're gonna have, oh, it's just it's being all feisty, you won't do it. <laughs> so you're gonna have that, just one in from the doorway. Then just build that like that. Gonna have to make a little bit of room. And if you build this in a cave, it's all it's all nice and compacted. You don't have to worry about there being a whole bunch of Mies cons everywhere. And we'll just do the same thing over here. And again, just two of these. And then single timer. That one is all weird for some reason. And a two timer right there. You just connect it all. Let's turn it to daytime real quick. And then we're going to do the outer timer. And we have to do that. Uh, that delayer. Keep calling it a timer for some reason. It's going to be two ticks. And we just do a Miscons tower thing. I'm pretty sure. I actually built this a little bit differently from this one. Yeah, okay. I actually did. I put this one down here. And then this one will go up here. And it'll push this out. And this one will work all good. Pushes it all out. Pushes it all back in. And it's nice and solid. Now, you're wondering, how how does this even work? How do I activate it? And simply, on the top of it all, and it makes it really easy when you're in a uh, in like a mountain or something, or you're building into the side of, mount, uh, of a mountain, like something like that. You could just put a player detector in the mountain, like right up here, and hide it. But I'm gonna do two of them, and. The reason I'm doing two is because I'd like to have a an opening on both sides. Since this is already hidden, I'm going to do a simple, just a compression gate or compression door, which just uses four pistons, just closes it up because it's already hidden inside whatever you're actually doing. And uh, I want that offset like that. I'm going to put a node right here. Actually, let's see, let's put it right here so it's, whoop, I don't want to do that. Put it right there so it's more even. And we're going to have these two like this. We're going to have it like this so it's a, uh, it's an inverter. And simply what we can do is use vertical mesecons and go over it so there's no connections made. And we'll push this over a little bit more. We'll just connect that there. And now whenever it is closed and both of them are off, it'll light right up. And that's really nifty for uh, for really long tunnels. You can have all the doors open at once. And let's just go right over here. And in fact, I can just do this and have the power going to this section of the uh, the wiring. And it all connects nicely, and the door is open, and the door is shut. So now I walk over here, my door opens up, I leave, my door closes, and it's all hidden. And it's literally that simple. There's, there's nothing difficult about it. And you'll have these two uh, two pistons shown, but that's not a big deal. All right, let's uh, let's see where I put the uh, the other. Okay, that one's right there. So we'll pretend this is like I don't know some kind of a secret laboratory or something it goes down or something. So actually, we'd have to do that right there. And what we can do is put two sticky pistons like that. Do two vertical mesecons. Have this right there. Then do two right there. And two vertical mesecons right there. And put your node that 
uh, your hallway is made up out of there. Like that. Now everything's all nice, nice. So let's just say we walk down into our uh, little laboratory or whatever. We'll just close this off. I like to have everything nice and solidly closed off. We walk away, it all closes off. Say we're coming up from the laboratory, it all opens up. And then now you're a super villain because your uh, little lair is surrounded by lava. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally that simple. There's, there's not much to it. Uh, on laggy servers, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this now. On laggy servers, I would recommend you do a full four ticks and do this as two ticks. And what's gonna happen with that is, if I do four ticks and two ticks, when I go to open the door right here, you'll see that takes a lot longer. And what's gonna happen is, sometimes when the server's laggy. Uh, nodes can take a little bit longer to update and you can end up destroying the uh, wiring using that. I uh, hear something. What, what's walking around out here? I hear it. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> My ADHD is getting the best of me. Where'd it go? Oh well, I hear it. But uh, whatever. I want no clip, I want fast move. And yeah, as you can see, I may have overcomplicated this a little bit using two. Whoa. Yeah, the Miscons causes like weird lags whenever it ticks, but I may have gone overcomplicated with it. A simple way to do this is to literally just straight up wire one of them to one thing. We could even do this right now. Move all this ridiculousness. And we can have a single. Yeah, okay. A single miscons that closes it. Now, the problem with the longer double sided doors is, like in this case, the inside won't open. So, that's great for adventure maps where you want the player to experience the map and they can't walk back. But it's not so good for evil layer doors, so. Now you have to just run through it, run, before it closes on you, and then it closes. And, uh, yeah, remember that timer thing, if you're on a laggy server? Pretty sure these doors are timed equally, let's see. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. So yeah, guys, if you, uh, if you want to see more redstone tutorials, get any, uh, get, uh, you have any ideas from me, or you just want to see more redstone stuff, and uh, just leave me a comment saying, yeah, do more of this, or something like that. Whatever floats your boat. And, uh, yeah, make sure you have fun with this door. You can, you can hide tons of stuff. You could probably compact this even more than I can using some kind of weird tower system, have it all embedded underneath itself or whatever. But this is the most straightforward way to do it. Another thing, remember to uh, do two uh, delayers because of the uh, the uh, the node updates. And yeah, guys, that's it for now. Have fun. And I enabled the viewing range. Oh no, what did I do? Well, peace out, guys.